Okay, simplifying before you multiply. This is just a quick video. Um, it's a little trick to help you with fraction multiplication to make it a little bit easier, uh, especially when you are multiplying mixed numbers because sometimes when you multiply, you get really, really large numbers that you then have to try to simplify. So we're gonna try to make it a little bit easier by simplifying before you multiply. So if this is our problem, 2 thirds times 2 tenths, we can actually do what we call cross simplifying before we do the actual multiplication. So by cross, I mean diagonally. Okay, this two and this 10, they have a common factor. They both are divisible by two. So I'm gonna divide both by two. Two divided by two is gonna leave me a one. 10 divided by two will leave me a two. Now I'm gonna look at my other diagonal. I'm sorry, it's not a two, it's a five, isn't it? 10 divided by two is five. Okay, now I'm gonna look at my other diagonal and I have a two and a three. There are no common factors. So I'm done simplifying. So to multiply, I would do my numerators, one times two, and I would multiply my denominators together, three times five, and do the math, one times two is two, three times five is 15, and wham, bam, we are already simplified. Okay, look at example B, 13 over 14 times 20 over 24. All right, can I cross simplify with the 13 and the 24? No, there are no common factors. However, there are common factors with the 14 and the 20. I could divide both by two. So 14 divided by two leaves me seven, and 20 divided by two will leave me a 10. You can also simplify vertically. We're used to doing that. So the only way you cannot simplify is horizontally. You can sim simplify vertically or diagonally. In this case, I can go ahead and simplify my 10 over 24 further by dividing both by two. 10 divided by two is five. 24 divided by two is 12. And now I'm ready to do my multiplication. There's nothing else I can simplify. So to multiply my numerators, I would do 13 times five. Multiply by my denominators would be seven times 12. And let's do the math. So 13 times five is 65. Seven times 12 is 84. And that is as simplified as it will get. Much easier than multiplying 13 times 20 and then 14 times 24 and then trying to simplify all of that. Those are pretty large numbers, very easy to make mistakes. So make it simpler for you by simplifying first. Okay, I want you to go ahead and pause the video and work problem C, D, and E by yourself. Let's see how you do. C, D, and E. Okay, let's see how you did. So, when simplifying the 12 over 20 times 2 fourths, cross simplifying, I noticed that four is also a factor of 12, so I divided, divided both by four. Four divided by four left me one. 12 divided by four left me three. And then I could also simplify this way by dividing by two. Two divided by two is one, 20 divided by two is 10. Multiply your numerators together, three times one gives you three. Multiply the denominators, 10 times one gives you 10, and you get three tenths. Okay, working for problem D, I could simplify the 16 and the 18, a common factor was two. So 16 divided by two is eight, 18 divided by two is nine. Unfortunately, I could not cross simplify the five and the 21. So then I just go ahead and multiply my numerators. Eight times five is 40, and 21 times nine was 189, and that's as simplified as you can get. And problem E, seven and 22, no common factors, but there are there is a common factor of seven for the 14 and 21. So 14 divided by seven was two, 21 divided by seven was three. Then I'm gonna multiply my numerators. Seven times three gave me 21. Two times 22 gave me 44, and that cannot be simplified further. So 21 44 is your answer. Sometimes when you do your cross simplifying, you don't simplify or see everything that you can simplify. And sometimes when you get your answer, you still need to simplify again, and that's okay. That's fine, as long as you recognize if you still need to simplify or not. Now let's look at these other two examples over here. Um, I added these, we have a fraction times a whole number. Remember, to multiply with whole numbers times a fraction, you have to turn that whole number into a fraction by putting it over one. So we have five eighths times 24 over one. 
So again, see if you can cross simplify, and this one's easy enough. I can cross simplify by dividing by eight. Eight divided by eight is one, 24 divided by eight is three. Then I'm gonna multiply my numerators. Five times three is 15, and one times one for the denominators is just one, so my answer is 15 whole. And again, with the mixed numbers, you still have to change them into improper fractions. You need to do that before you worry about simplifying anything. So we have three times three is nine plus one is 10. So we have 10 thirds times three fourths. And I can see diagonally here that I can divide out the threes. Three divided by three is one. Three divided by three is one. And then cross simplify the 10 and the four by dividing by two. 4 divided by 2 is 2, 10 divided by 2 is 5. Now I'm going to multiply my numerators, 5 times 1 is 5, and the denominators 1 times 2 is 2. I have an improper fraction, so I need to change it back to a mixed number by dividing, and we know that 2 goes into 5 2 whole times with a remainder of 1. So 2 and 1 half would be your answer here. Hope this helps simplify your fraction multiplication processes.